Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how we can save rendered images of our garment in Clo. So a render images is a similar type of image to a snapshot, which we go over in a different video, but it's higher quality and it's going to take a little bit longer because it's higher quality. If you haven't switched into high resolution mode yet, you'll want to do that by clicking the high res button here in our 3D toolbar. Um, which we go over the details of in a different video. So if you want to know more about that tool, you can watch that, but you'll want to make sure you're switched into high resolution mode with your garment looking exactly how you want it to look uh, before we go to render, because this it's going to save the image of exactly what we're looking at in our 3D window. So to switch to our render menu, I'm going to go up to our um, menu at the very top of my computer screen and click render. And then I'm going to click render again. That's going to open up our render uh, menu right here. And there's a couple of different tools in here. One of them is called interactive render. And that's what you'll see right here. Click here to start the interactive render. This is basically going to give us a preview of what our render will look like. So it's going to look a little bit more realistic than our 3D window. So to start that interactive render, I just want to make sure I have simulation mode off. And I could either click here in the render space, or I could click this um, button with the arrows pointing in a circle. That is also our interactive render button. Once I click that, I'll start to get a preview of our interactive render. And you can see this is already looking more realistic than what's in our 3D window because we have more lighting settings applied, more texture applied. And whatever our view I'm looking at in the 3D window, it's going to update here in our render interactive render window. It's not going to be quite as high quality as our final image, but it is just giving us a preview. So you can see we can see those details a lot more than we can see them here in the 3D window. We can stop the interactive render by clicking the stop button right here. And that will stop it. And we'll need to do that before we actually render our image. The way we can render our image is by clicking the play button here. This is the render um, button the, for saving our final render. And it will basically start rendering whatever image we're looking at in our 3D window and saving it as an image here. But before we do that, there's also some other settings that we might want to adjust. So I'm going to go down to our image or our render properties button. Um, that's this icon right here with the gear wheel next to it. Um, this has some more advanced settings that we're going to be talking about in a future video. Um, and above that is our light lighting settings. You'll see it's a light bulb with a gear wheel next to it. And this is our lighting settings, which we'll also talk more about in a different video, but just know they're located here. And then our camera properties, you probably won't need to be adjusting these at all, but just so you know, that's where they're located. And then the settings that you'll probably will want to be adjusting is our image settings or our image properties. And that looks like the picture of the mountain with the gear wheel next to it. And you'll see um, these settings pop up in our property editor. We could close our object browser because there's not really anything we can do there. But in our property editor, we'll be choosing if we want to save an image turntable images or animation. Right now we're only talking about images, but we will be talking about turntable images and animation in a different video. So I'm going to stay on image right here. And we can choose if we want to render our current view, which is whatever we're looking at currently in our 3D window, or if I want to do custom views. If I only want to save one image, then I'll typically do my current view. But if I want to save multiple images, I'll click custom views. And that will give me this pop-up menu right here. So I could go and navigate to all the views that I want and click the camera icon to save the views that I want. So each of these views that I save, it's going to render these all as separate images um, with the same settings applied and right in a row. So I wouldn't need to go click render for all of them. If I have custom view selected, then it's going to go render all of the custom views that I have saved. So to get to this pop-up menu, you'll just select custom views, and then you can navigate to your custom views and click your camera icon. 
if you have custom views you use often, you can always um, take the picture of those custom views here and then click the save button. And then if you wanted to open those exact same custom views on a different file, you could click the open button here. That way you're taking the pictures at the exact same angle or zoomed in amount if you want them to be the exact same. I'm going to close that though. And we also have the option to take um, the, the rendering of our current colorway or if we want to take it of all colorways or custom colorways. So if you have multiple colorways of your garment, you could adjust those settings and then adjust the image size. I typically like saving my images as um, 2,500 by 2,000 pixels. Um, I find that that, um, that size is a good quality. So, um, or the other way around, if you want it to be um, portrait. Um, but somewhere in that size has been good quality for me, but you can adjust it however you need it to be. We also have the option to adjust the background. Um, I'm gonna turn on interactive render here so we can see these changes happening in real time. So I did increase the pixel size from what it was before. So that will increase the quality of our render preview too. If I wanted to change the background color, I could click the color pop-up right here and select any of these colors if I wanted a background color. If I wanted a transparent background, I could choose transparent background and that would only render my avatar in the garment. So the background would be transparent. And then there's also some textures that we can have in the background too. So these are um, pre-made vignettes and background shading that Clo already has ready for us. So if you'll notice right now in my background, the corners are a little bit darker than the center of my background. And if I wanted to change that, I could click these four squares right here. And that would give me a pop-up menu on my computer of different types of gradients and vignettes. And I could double click whichever one I wanted and that would apply it. But if I wanted a flat background, I could also click the trash can icon and delete that right here. And then we can adjust where we want our file to be saved. It's automatically going to save it in our Clo assets folder, which is a folder that Clo automatically creates on your computer for you. But if you want it somewhere different, you can change that right here. So those are the main settings you'll probably be adjusting for your image. And once you're happy with those, then we'll make sure that we have interactive render stopped. And then we could click the play button to start our render. Once you do this, um, it will automatically start loading the render and you'll see a progress bar pop up um, down here on your, on your render window. Um, and that will tell you how far into the render it is. I'm gonna stop mine so it doesn't save these images on my computer, but you'll, you saw that progress um, pull, um, pop up and that tells me where my render is at progress wise. And it will start cycling through each of my views since I'm on custom views, um, automatically going on to the next one when it's done. And if you ever wanted to stop it, you could always click the stop button like I did. And when it's done with all of your renders, it will give you a pop-up menu on your computer letting you know. Typically, because this is a file that's pretty small, it's gonna render and probably less than a minute, all three of those custom views. But if you have a higher quality image, it could take longer, it could take about 10 minutes, depending on the size of your file. So the rendering images um, technique does take longer, but it's a much higher quality than our snapshot will be. In another video, we go over more in-depth settings about these other render settings, especially lighting. Um, so you can watch that video to explore those more, but this is the basics of rendering. And if we want to get back to our 3D and 2D window, we'll just click the X right here to close out of render window, and we're back to our 3D and 2D windows.